going around the globe for the gospel of Jesus Christ. Welcome to God's View. Hello and welcome to God's View. We're so glad you joined us today. Remember when we're going through the program that call those prayer lines. Do not go through things alone. That That's one thing that just hurts my heart so much because people are out there suffering because yeah. they will not call a prayer line. Mm -hmm. And, and you know, yeah. I'm not down in any prayer line, but most of them that I've spoken to said they don't want to pray. They can only take 30 seconds and they'll tell you they just have to get your information, get your number, and then they get a solicitation mm. letter in the mail mm -hmm. a week later mm -hmm. and these are big uh ministries big prayer uh yeah, that's not lines right. that's been for years now i am not downing you that god told you to do that but here we don't do it that way right and and god those prayer lines have been for people to get set free we go to heaven with faith Amen. And we want to see your brokenness yes. unbroken. You understand? Yes. Mm -hmm. And we will pray and believe with you. And you are anonymous. 307-637-PRAY. Mm -hmm. That's 7729. Okay, don't go through things alone. Again, no. you're anonymous. We don't know who you are. Just call. Just okay. give us a call. Yeah. Like, okay. Yeah, I almost did that. <laughs> yeah, I called. Call me. I call. And it's always <laughs> right here behind my head in a full yeah. shot and periodically across the bottom of the screen. We really want to get going today because we have our guest, Michelle, that is going yes. to, not only has she been guest hosting, she is going to be a guest right now as we interview her. And a powerful testimony, we're going to be talking about her book, Ripened on the Vine. This is one of her books. This has her testimony in it. But we're going to be talking about a lot of things her whole life. I'm Charlene, back to Marion, your God's View host. Please, if you are going through the channels, stay right there. It was no accident this is going to be something that will set you free mm -hmm. and if you've been broken and if you've had uh, abuse in your life and if you've had just crazy things happen you want to stay tuned mm -hmm. and yeah. this is Stephanie yeah. Besh we have Priscilla mm -hmm. Pruitt we have Lana Garner yay yeah. Lana's back <laughs> I know people started asking, where's Lana? She's back. She's going to come back. We just, we just <laughs> had some things, had some things that had to get, you know, taken care of and everything yep. else. And here yep. she is. Amen. And then won't you help us welcome our very special guest, Michelle Davenport. Yay! Yes. 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 yes, I always shake everybody's hands. Yes. Hi. <laughs> well, you know, first of all, I want to tell you, Michelle, you can get a hold of her at um, FB. Where did I write that down? Ministries. Ministries. FB Ministries. It's somewhere in here, you guys. Dot com. FBMinistries.com. Okay. And that's faith-based. If you don't know, Frank Boy. You know, FBMinistries.com. You can have her in to speak. She's a powerful speaker. She has her own TV uh, show. There's a movie coming out about her. And, of course, her books. And this is just one of her books, Ripened on yeah. the Vine, that has her testimony. Here you go. Look mm -hmm. at that really good okay and they can get this book on your website or just on amazon where both, both. both. so you can go to amazon you can go to her um fbministries.com and get the books mm -hmm. so with that said shoot <laughs> shoot yeah. Yeah. when i ask questions you just want me to no, shoot you, no, you, you you want, your you're married right got right, some I kids am. and grandkids tell us married about that 37 years got five grandkids praise Ooh. the lord um came from a very dysfunctional home. Is this when you want me to share my Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, whatever. Yeah, you, know, you go for it. My mother was, um, she got married um, when she was young. I think she was 15. My grandmother signed a little waiver wow, for her. Wow. And yeah, she got married early. And uh, they did. They started out great. But how many of you know out there, you can start out great and mm -hmm. not end very well. Uh -huh. And so, or at least get in the middle and fall. And that's what she did. She did end well, but in the middle she failed. But um Anyway, they got married. Uh, they started doing drugs. They started my my real dad started um, cheating on my mom, and they were going to get a divorce. And the first memory that I have of my dad is we had left him and lived in an apartment. My brother was spending a night with um, the uncle, and my dad had literally kicked down the door and came in and got me out of the bunk bed and took me into the little living room between the dining room and living room, and he made me watch him beat and rape my mom <gasps> to almost to death. Wow. And that yeah. was my first memory of my dad. Oh, so that was no. that was um, intense. Horrible. And from there, my mom, my dad ended up going to prison. He was in the biggest um, gang member in Corpus Christi, Texas. Wow. He ended up going to prison and staying there. My mom ended up getting married again. That man ended up shooting her in the <gasps> foot. 
uh, then she divorced him, <laughs> and then she got married again and um, to a wonderful man. I oh, mean, just a good. beautiful soul. Mm. And uh, you call about, your step up dad. That's my seventh one. This is my third. Oh, <laughs> yeah, I'm, not, I'm, I'm oh. talking as fast as I can because oh, I'm like so yeah. much. Yeah, but we've got time. Okay, we've got yeah. other shows. This okay, is only yeah. part one. Okay, so this so is you the go ahead. You just take your time. Okay, yes. and so <laughs> she married the third man, and he was Wonderful. beautiful. He was such an awesome mm. man of God. Loved my mother the way she was designed to be loved. Wow. Loved my brother. Loved myself. Um, and we had about five years with him. He took us fishing and camping, and we had like eight Aww, motorcycles. We did dirt bike riding, that. and um, we just had the best life. But uh, he got to drinking one night, and he was in his um, dune buggy on Galliston Bay Wall uh -oh. and with a friend, <gasps> Yeah, and he flipped no. it. No. And he did not make that oh, uh, no. journey. Oh. So my mother uh, was widowed. Mercy. Yeah, she was widowed. And then she got oh. married for the fourth time fourth time mm. and uh, he was very very rich uh, very um, prominent in the community but he was um, a abusive. pervert yeah mm. he was he was just awful and um, he abused my mom so my mom left him and got a divorce and then after him she married Oh it just God. got worse. <laughs> it just got yeah. worse. Yeah. You know, I always want to jump to, but God. But I feel like yeah. you need to know the story. You know, you yes. know yes. the story. Yes. Right? Absolutely. So yeah. I'm taking you on a journey. So she married a drug dealer. So oh, after she no. left him, she she married a drug dealer. And in between all this time, my mother had tried to kill herself like countless of times. Um, and with no avail, she did not, but she did try. And I had walked in on her many times when she had tried to kill herself or split her wrist or take too many pills. That was God. It was God. Yeah. yeah. And yeah. it was absolutely God. He was intervening. Yes, he was. And so she had married the drug addict and drug dealer. And I'll never forget this. This was such a moment in my life that... When my mom was married to Gilbert, the man with the um, dune buggy accident in ba uh, Galveston Bay Wall, she would take us down the street to the little Methodist church. And oh. so I knew there was a God, y'all. I knew. And I was little. I was like five. Uh, they, that yeah. happened with my real dad at four, so I was about maybe six. And so I knew there was a God, okay, because mm -hmm. she took me and she sowed that seed into me every week to the church while she was mm -hmm. married to him. But then she got divorced. I mean, she didn't get divorced. He died. And then she married the, the other guy. And then she married the drug dealer. And so... And the drug dealer was the fifth one or sixth one? Or seventh? Fifth. 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 I'm following. Okay, yeah, she fifth. married my real dad twice. Okay, so now... So, so we're going to say he's, he's the sixth. Okay. Cause, okay. Okay. Because she married him twice. When he got out of prison, she remarried him. Okay. okay. I, it's hard for me to keep up. So I don't know how y'all are going to do it. <laughs> I'm like, okay, well, what happened? Uh, so anyway, um, I'll never forget it. I came home from um, from school one day. And I never was able to bring friends home with me. Because everybody knew our house. We didn't have visitors. We had... We had um, you know, customers to buy drugs. And I, oh, and after school, wow. I did my chore, which was to weigh out marijuana <gasps> and to put them in five wow. and 10 pound oh, bags. Goodness. And I did that. So anyway, I didn't have a lot of friends. When and I'm you were how, how old? That's oh what gosh, I was how very young. I was uh, maybe 15 at this age. Okay. 14, okay. 15 at this age. Um, we went from very rich and I was very popular to then it just depends on who she married, where my status was in high school. And y'all know how big that can be. Yes. <laughs> and so, uh, this status now is nobody can come hang out at my house because it's wow. the drug house, right? So, right. but a lot of my friends are coming over doing drugs at my house and I'm talking every kind of drug. I'm talking shooting up, I'm talking pills, I'm talking marijuana, all of the things, the downers, the uppers, everything was at our house. That's so sad. And I just remember one day I came home from school and a parent had let me, uh, let her come home with me. And I was so happy, so thrilled that I was going to have a friend come over, and I hadn't been for a long time, and I really wanted her to come over. But, y'all, we got off the bus, and I'm walking towards our house on Mammoth Street. And I remember feeling this feeling. Mm. Oh, my gosh, something's not right. Oh. Something. And the closer I got to that house, oh. the closer, the more I realized there's mm. something definitely wrong Ooh, with what I'm about to go shell. into the house and so I unlock the door I am shaking she's behind me and and we open the door and there is blood oh, everywhere no. there is blood up the oh, stairs there's blood no, on the railings shell. there's blood 
uh, on the couch. There's blood towards the kitchen and the dining room. There's just blood everywhere. And my little friend, she's shaking in her boots, and she wanted to leave, but she didn't want to leave me, so she just was behind me. And I made my way upstairs where the three bedrooms were, in my bedroom, my mother's bedroom, and a spare bedroom and a bathroom. And there was every door open. There was just more blood than you could ever imagine. I mean, you just cannot imagine that somebody's living after you see all this blood. I mean, yes. it's just so much. Were there any bodies? No bodies, just blood everywhere. Oh, my god! And we get to the, the, my room, everywhere, the bathroom. I get to my mother's room and the door is shut and I am pounding yeah. and I am screaming yeah. and yeah. I am saying, mama, mama. And I'm banging on that door and banging on that door and banging on that door. And there's nothing. She's not making one word. And I'm like, mama. And she, uh, <laughs> anyway, uh, so anyway, uh, banging on the door and banging on the door. And finally, my mother, she's five foot two. She opens mm. the door, mm -mm. and all you can see is the white of her eyes. No. She had been beaten so bad, y'all. <gasps> oh, she no. had 40 cigarette burns in her no. breast. She had had her baby finger shot, oh my uh, the tip of it. She had been beaten with a baseball bat. She Jesus. had been raped, and she just looked like, she didn't even look like my mom. I mean, she could no. only see the, oh, literally the no. whites of her eyes. It was horrific. And what oh happened, y'all, is they owed money to the drug dealer. And uh, they came and they, they couldn't. Her. And that's and what they, they do. came after my mama. Yeah. And they, they did yeah. that to her. Yeah. So that is one of the memories I, I remember the most in all of the memories that stuck out the most. And Jesus. you know what? Um, after that, after that, my grandmother flew that's in. Horrible. And she helped get our family back in order a little bit. And uh, my... The, the drug dealer was still living with my mom, still part okay. of her life. Wow. And during that moment, um, there was a time that he lost drug money, and it, we were in the house, and he held us hostage like <gasps> with a shotgun, no. like a literally shotgun. We could not leave until he found this money. And I went upstairs, y'all. This is where the little Methodist church comes in. Mm -hmm. I went upstairs, and I got on my bed, and I can, I can reliving it. I got on my bed and started crying out to God. And I said, Lord, I said, I said, I know you're real. I know you can hear me. Yeah. And if you can hear me, you can answer me. Right. And I said, help him find that drug money or he's yes. going to kill us. Yes. And y'all, God is my witness. It wasn't, I don't know how long, maybe 30 minutes later, he comes screaming out of the bedroom. I found the money. I found it. It's in Thank the you, Bible. Jesus. It's, in, it's Bible. in the Bible. Oh, he found Lord it in the Bible. Delivered that money. That's wow. right. That's, That's right. right. That's mm -hmm. right. And so uh, wow. after that. Faith um, like a child. Yes. Wow. Yes. It was incredible. And after that, I was dating some guy. Oh, he was so much older than me. It just could have been a whole, that could have been a whole deal. And uh, <laughs> my mom and him said they were going to, my mom was going to leave him, right? And. She did. She separated. We moved into an apartment. He broke into our apartment. Mm. He cut all the mm -mm. middle out of our pants and poured perfume, uh, milk in our perfume. He broke the window, broke in. He did all these things. And I told my mom, I said, you cannot go back with him. You mm. cannot go back with him. If you can't do it for you. Do it for me. Yeah. I can't go. Well, I can't go back to that. They promised <laughs> that they would straighten up, quit doing the drugs. So he, uh, she let him back in that life. And we end up moving again. We just moved all the time. And we were living across the street from the bowling alley, y'all. And I'll never forget this. Mm. Um, my mama said, go out. You're fine. Go out. Go out tonight. We'll be fine. I said, Mama, I'm worried about you. I don't feel like it's going to be fine. And she goes, it's going to be fine. Go out. Go out. Go out and go out with your boyfriend. <laughs> she was so much older than me. Go out with your boyfriend and I'll be fine. And I called it, I stopped at a pay phone because back then, y'all, yeah. <laughs> we didn't have those cell phones. No, 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 <laughs> I didn't have those cell phones, so I put a quarter in. And I mm -hmm. said, I need to check on my mama. Mm -mm. Well, this guy I'm with, he's no, he's no superstar. I mean, he's doing drugs and stuff on his own. I just did not pick a winner there. And um, I called my mama, and she was whispering. She said, come home, come home, you know. And so I, I tell him, hey, you got to take me home. My mama's in trouble. We fly there. We run up the stairs. We get up there, and my mom's in the corner. She's beat. No. And he's sitting on the couch with a gun. <gasps> and he is the uh, 38 special. Oh. And he says, y'all come sit down. Get over here and sit down. We sit down. And he starts playing Russian roulette with me. <gasps> no. And I'm like, oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Jesus. And I'm thinking, I, okay. I, I, come on, God. <laughs> I don't want to die. And I can't leave my mother because right. she'll never make it. 
And so I'm praying, and I'm praying, this is why I'm praying, y'all. You yes. think I'd be praying that he don't shoot me. What I'm praying is he'll just pass out. So I, so I can get out of there, and yes. I can go get the police to help my mom. Yes. Sure enough. Oh. Passes out. Praise God. Out. Wow. 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 Just a few God, times. So a few times just God, a few times so playing the restroom. Wow. He didn't do it all night. Just a few times. And, um, that's a big that's deal. A that's a big that's deal. A that's a big deal. I really want to paint it like he, he did that for 15 times. Yeah. He did. He wow. did a couple times. Okay, but you go down the stairs to get out of the apartment. You had to go up the stairs to get in the apartment. Go down them. So we go down, and we get down to maybe the second to the last stair, and I hear click. <gasps> and he's no. up, and he's, he's, remember he's playing Russian rent, so he's spinning them. So he's going to have one more. <gasps> he Wait, has a lot of shots. Is your mom with you? Oh, she's still she stayed beat. in the room. No, she's still there. She's still she beat. She's still she in the corner. Move. She's yeah. still oh. immobilized in okay. the corner, beaten to, okay. uh, that's why I needed him to pass out so I can go so get the police. So me and my boyfriend at the time. So he goes, click, click. Well, remember, there's only one bullet. So right. there can be like, like up to How six, depending on what kind of uh, revolver you have. They can be up to six. So to my knowledge. So he click clicks. I get out the door. We go get the police and we come back and he hails a gun to her head in the back and the mm -hmm. police just, uh, she just tells the police I'm fine here. She's not fine. She's beat to a pulp. They know that. But because she won't press charges and she won't right. say it, they, so I end up going to live with a friend after that. I went to go live with a girlfriend. I could not take it mentally anymore. I just needed a minute. <laughs> I just needed a minute to collect myself and live with someone. So I went to live with my friend Rhonda and we went to, we begged our we begged her mother to take us to Gillies to, uh, and, you know, that's when Gillies was in uh, Pasadena, Texas. If you've been there, you know, you know that you know. They don't have Gillies anymore, but back in the day they did. So we begged her mother to take us to Gillies. We went to Gillies that night and we came home and we got a phone call in the middle of the night. And her mm -hmm. mom came and got me and she's crying. And I'm like, oh my gosh, you know, I, this is my safe place. What are we doing? And she said, your mother's on the phone. Your brother was running from uh, some drug you know from a drug exchange and he got in a bad car wreck and we don't know if he's going to make it oh. and because uh, after my dad had died the one on the Galveston yeah. Bay my brother wanted to go live with my dad after he got out of prison my mm -hmm. mom didn't want him to but she allowed it and uh, at that time he started growing and selling drugs so he so we had to leave and go to Corpus um, Christi where he was at and he did not make it he, oh. it, he car flipped over and flipped on him and and uh, they find oh, nine pints so of blood sorry. in him, and oh, it just could no. not. He was so high he couldn't save his life. If he would have been a little bit more sober, oh. he could have fought. You know, I don't know that he would have lived, but he could have fought. Yeah, he didn't he even have the ability to fight. Mm -hmm. And so, um, yeah, I just lived with my so friend for a bit, and then, um, yeah. Crisis after crisis. Crisis, yeah. yeah. So that's yeah. Most so of when it. did you? So when <laughs> did the carnival stuff happen? When? Oh, where were you at that point? Okay, I was so focused on my mother and, yes. and all yeah, the things. Yeah, a lot. When yeah. I was eleven, when she was living with the fourth husband, the one that was very rich, um, but a little bit of a pervert, um, we wanted to go to the amusement park and go hang out and i didn't have a season pass but my and, and you know, i don't know why i didn't i mean we had money but for whatever reason i didn't have one but my friends did and so we went to um they're closed now so it was worlds of fun so i can legally mm -hmm. say the name mm -hmm. and we went there to have a good day well we noticed after a couple hours a man was following us and um then he approached us after he had talked to a security guard then he came over and he said i'm working with the police now y'all need to know i was 11 okay so on my on my own defense, I was 11. So when he said he was a police officer, I thought he was. Well, yeah. I thought he was, right? Okay, I believed him. He said, I've talked to your mother, and, and I've talked to all of y'all's mother, and you're going to help us catch the bad guys. And they and your mother said it was okay, and you get a season pass, you get $1,000. And back down in 1976 mm -hmm. is when this happened. Wow. Summer of 1976, mm -hmm. uh, I was supposed to get a season pass, $1,000, if I'd help him. Well, my other two friends, Rhonda and Russell, they said, no, we're out. We don't want to do it. And I said, well, you know what? I'll help you I'll help you catch the bad guy well he took me and he tied me up and he took me to a ditch behind the gold mine which was closed at the time and he molested me for till the park closed okay so the park was closed tied me up that story is along in itself and so but anyway this is the main point he took me behind the gold mine he took me down into a ditch and it, and I to that all the way until we got to the ditch I knew something was up because he bought me a soda and it kind of tasted funny and so I accidentally spilled it and he got real mad. So I, st but 
But I was already invested and I didn't know enough. I was 11, right? So I just did not know enough, but I knew right. something wasn't going right. Yeah. And But by then, I was already in it too much. So um, anyway, he took me down that ditch, tied me up. And that's where he kept me until the park had closed. And then, thank um, God he didn't kill you. No, he did not. But he, wow. he went on trial for hundreds and hundreds of children. <gasps> he posed as police officer at amusement wow. parks and superintendents at schools. Uh, he had jumped out. They caught him. He jumped out of a helicopter. I mean, it was a whole thing. Um, but anyway, I got out. I'm, I'm. What I'm doing to get out of the park because it is dark in there when they close it. I mean, I, you how did you get uh, away from him? Uh, he said I could. He said he, he tied me up. He said go. he said you can get out of here. Go. You count to a hundred, and I'll set and you go. But he said I'm leaving. But you can, you stay in this ditch, and you count to a hundred, and then you can get out of the ditch. And I was like, okay, okay, okay. So I stayed there, and I rushed my hands and rushed my hands, and I mean, I was like seventy pounds, you know. Yeah. I, he, there's no way he. I got my hands out, and so. I followed the screams. That's how I got out of there. My friend's mother was screaming so loud because they had told her, Michelle went with the police officer. Didn't you say it was okay? She said she called our parents. You know, we didn't want to do it, but she, well, everybody figured out what was going on by then. So they didn't know if this man was still in there with me, which he was. Um, they didn't know what was going on. So anyway, they took me to my mother. And, of course, my mother, bless her I'm going to love my mother. Love, love, love. You need to know that. I love and we ended well. We ended on such a good note. Mm -hmm. But uh, they took it. They took me to home. The police officers took me home. Told my mother what happened, and my mother said, "I can't talk about it." And I didn't know at the time, but I think in, later in life, I thought, "Well, you didn't need to. <laughs> I needed yeah, to talk I about it. Too. You know, I needed Aww. to talk about." It. But she didn't yeah. really want to talk about. It, but she set me up with a psychiatrist, which was a man. And all I would do is draw oh, pictures. No. I wouldn't even talk to him. Well, yeah, yeah, I just yeah. There's no saying. I could not say Yeah, I just, yeah. 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 I just yeah. couldn't talk to him. So, so many men by this point have hurt me. So I was like, I'm not talking to him. Yeah, I don't believe that. So that's what happened at the amusement park. And then after that, I had my aunt and uncle lived with us when I was a baby, and end up molesting me when I was a baby, <gasps> yeah. but the mm -hmm. aunt too? and the aunt too. Yes. Both of them. So yes. them together. Mm -hmm. Wow. I'm so Sick. sorry. And then, wow. I'm so sorry. you know, that's good though. So yes, you, he it is. is. so good. He so is. when I got older, I didn't remember the baby about the baby. I did, I did not recollect that at all. But when I got older, the reason my mom ended up telling me, um, is because when I was 17, um, I, my uncle and aunt were going to move back to Arizona and they asked me to spend a night and we were drinking and my real dad was there. I was in Corpus Christi. My mom had met some guy anyway. They were in Corpus Christi and I, I was there too. And they asked me to spend a night and you got to know, I loved this aunt and uncle. I just adored her especially. Um, because I couldn't remember when I was a baby. I had no idea. Um, so I said, yes, I was honored to spend their last night with them. And so I spent a night, went and got in bed and and my uncle came in and raped me, and my aunt sent mm -hmm. him in there to do it. What? And then she molested me, too. So, then they took off to Arizona the <sighs> next day. So, you know, I sit here and I think about all these things, and I'm getting teary-eyed. And not because of the pain, but because I can't wait to get to the part yeah. where Redemption. God redeemed yes, it all. Yes, that's redeemed. right, I've got so much joy. <laughs> and I just feel like somebody right now is hearing this and you're going, yes. oh my goodness, oh my goodness. And you're thinking, I've been through that. I've been through that. I've been through that. And there's no hope. I'm going to keep on going through this. And I'm going to keep on feeling yes. this pain. And I'm going to keep on running through this muck and this pit. And I'm here to tell you, you're not. That's right. I'm here to tell you that we serve a Jesus that redeems, restores, and re uh, just total restoration of my life. Amen. Where I end up getting married and staying married for 37 years. Amen. Never. Wow. And we yes. don't do Amen. drugs. We, matter of fact, we don't even drink. I'm not, I'm not yeah, saying you can't great. drink. Yeah, you can drink. Yeah. Because, I mean, in the Bible, there's wine. I'm just saying. For me, yes. yep. we yeah, don't. No. Yeah. Yeah. God is so good. And he yeah. gave us two beautiful girls. And mm. he redeemed everything. Yes. That the enemy meant That's for harm, right. according to yes. Gen Genesis 50, everything that the enemy meant for harm, God turned it around wow. and, and bring glory, God. not for the just saving of me and my family, but the word of God says for the mm -hmm. generations for, yeah, like Joseph, to come, for generations, for generations to, come. to come. 
And you know, you know, one of the things about your movie, one of the most powerful things wow. about this is the forgiving and the redemption that yes. you're going to be talking about yes. in that movie. And that's yes. what's going to be one of the most powerful things. Can't wait to get things. to that part because that's yeah. awesome. Yeah, mm -hmm. and yeah, we're going to talk about that. Wow. But um, when you when you were all on, oh, well, I guess we're going to have to, I'm think, thank God somebody's over there. I, Because a lot of times when we go through the mm -hmm. clock, but, you know, we're going to have to go. But please, this was only part one. And so... We, um, you want to make sure that you watch part two and three. The and good parts. Yeah, <laughs> and there's and there's probably still a few more things oh, that we have to talk things. about because there's your mom still was married two more times, and there were some things that happened in between there. Yeah. And then you know, but you know, maybe you were raped over and over today. Maybe mm. you know, people betrayed you that was supposed to love you, uh, moms, dads, uh, sisters, brothers, aunts, uncles, uh, coaches. I mean, there's so there's so much perversion out so there. Much, so much. Please just tell somebody. Yes, please. See, you give you give it power um, over you by being silent. Amen. And you, you allow give, it to keep yeah, happening. You, you right. allow it to keep happening. They yeah. say, no, you'll be in trouble. Everybody will be in trouble. Yeah. Mom and dad will break up. You'll all be poor. Nobody they, there's you. so many. Mm -hmm. Nobody will believe you. There's mm -hmm. so many things. They say, I'll kill your animals. There's yeah. so many things that they use. But guess what? If you will say something, they will stop. That's right. Because if they're doing it to you, they're doing it to others. That's so right. be a That's voice. Right. Be a hero for yeah. others. Yes. Okay. Amen. And if somebody doesn't Amen. believe you, then tell somebody else. Then yes. tell keep somebody telling. else. Stop. Yes. 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 I keep did. telling. I did start yeah. telling. Yeah. Yes. I did start telling. Because that's what yeah. it is. Yeah. People yeah. don't yeah. believe you. You have to keep telling. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Because they'll say, well, that's just crazy. But listen, you know what, what happened with Michelle and all of us up here is that Jesus came into our life and Jesus healed our hearts and he came in with such great love and forgiveness and, and that's what he wants to do for you. He, he wants to help you in this journey. Right. Mm -hmm. He wants you to just receive him first though. For him to help you, you got to let him. you got to say, Jesus, I want you in my life. Mm -hmm. I want you as my Lord and Savior. Forgive me of my sins. Yes. Yes. And thought, just come in and be the Lord because Amen. I can't do this anymore and I'm scared and I don't know who to talk to but he'll tell you who to talk to Amen. he will he'll, he'll lead you he by the Holy me. Spirit the right. yes he's just with every one of us mm -hmm. and yeah, right. all who call on the name of the Lord shall be saved that's right and you know a lot of times Jesus. the perpetrator will make you feel so dirty and unworthy that you feel like you don't <gasps> deserve yeah to yeah. uh, you know, get better. You right. deserved this in some right. way mm -hmm. yeah. because I gr I grew up that way. Many people did, and mm -hmm. I, many people that I'm talking to right now did. Mm -hmm. right. But it's your hour and it's your moment. That's but right. you can't be silent anymore. That's right. Amen. And then ask God to fill you, Jesus, to fill you, baptize you with the Holy Spirit and with fire, Jesus. and give you your prayer language to Jesus. to keep on, keep on, keeping on. You know what That's I mean? Right. I'll tell you, Amen. it's your 911 to God, mm -hmm. your prayer language. Yes. Oh, boy, you know, you, you want to you wanna get these second um, shows, but help us keep coming into your home around the world with the gospel of Jesus Christ. we got a new extension of our anointing oil. And you can see right in there, it still has the mm. valuable pearl in there. And But this is spray. You can do it as perfume or your anointing oil, and it's a game changer. Amen. Okay? Amen. Great gifts for Christmas, Amen. birthday, anything. Really nice. And it's $30 mm -hmm. uh, or more love gift. And you get this little thing in here about, you know, the scripture. Call a an elder of the church, oil. anoint, you, anoint yeah. you with oil, and the prayer of faith will lift you up and make you whole. Amen. We've got to go. God does have a view. God does Amen. have a view personally.